Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue on Windows 10 or Windows 11 or something did not go as planned. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu and type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this command line window, you want to type in disk part, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, and hit enter. And give it a moment there. And then once you have disk part with a blinking line after it, you want to type in list, L-I-S-T, disk, D-I-S-K, and then hit enter. Once you've done that, you want to type in select disk zero, the numerical value of zero. So just type in zero. So disk zero is now the selected disk. And now that you've done that, you want to type in list partition. And hit enter. So now at this point, you want to go locate the partition that says system. This is very important. So this is partition one in our case. So we're going to type in select partition one. Again, make sure you're selecting the system partition and then hit enter. And now that you have done that, I'm going to have an ID in the description of the video. I want you to copy it and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in. You can also tap control V on your keyboard to paste it into. And then once that's done, just say disk part successfully set the partition ID. And now that you've done that, close out of here and you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, at this point, your issue has been resolved. If you're still having an issue, we can try a couple more options here. But the first method should have been able to resolve it for most of you guys. And these other solutions would entail opening up the search menu and typing in troubleshoot. Best result should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the Windows Update troubleshooter and then the Run button. Give us a moment here. And then hopefully that would have resolved the issue. If you're still having a problem, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu and type in services. Best match, to come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to locate the background intelligence transfer service and double click on that. Startup type, either set it to automatic or automatic delayed start. If service status is stopped, you want to go ahead and start it. If it's running, we're going to go stop it. And then we're going to start it. And give that a moment. And once that's done, go down to the Windows Update service and double click on that. Again, same thing, make sure it's set to automatic. We're going to go ahead and make sure the service status is started or running when we are done here. And then select OK. And now close out of here. Open up the search menu one more time. Type in CMD. Best result, should come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now into this command prompt window, type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash, scan now. Scan now is all one word, attach a forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This process will take some time, so please be patient.
And once it has concluded, close out of here and you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.